Hello, it's day three of the Predator Germany Open here at Atlantic Hotel in Bremen. We're starting our fourth match of the day here with Sanjin Pelivanovic from Bosnia versus Michael Schneider from Switzerland. And with me in the booth is Mickey Krauser from Denmark. And before play starts, we'd like to thank our sponsors and partners for making this event happen. Predator Cues and Real Life. Pro Billiard Series global partners are CSI, Kamui, and Alpha Coin Cryptocurrency. And our local partners here in Germany, Telio Communications again, and HBI. So, Mickey, how are you doing today? I'm doing not so well, actually, because I lost my match today, but I'll come back stronger tomorrow. Okay, that sounds like a good plan. Yeah. Good. Okay, so what do you think about this match? It can be a really close match. Uh, two young players, like um, I don't know, it 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 can go like both ways. But Sanjin, he might have like a, a little more experience than than Michael Schneider. So, but Michael Schneider, he's like he's a grinder. He wanna he wanna beat everybody, right? So. Yeah, yeah, he does have a big grind. He really fights and digs real deep. Yeah, I into think a so. match always does that so I think that's a real good skill to have so we see Sanjin having the first break nice break too like there was no balls on the d downside of the table everything went back up table so big big break and he says take that <laughs> yeah he wanted to be a little more behind that 10 ball because now he can actually use like this there's one rail on 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 the on the side pocket. Yeah, you can see here. Yeah, he's kicking one rail. Yeah, Maybe he tried to get that kick from the top rail away. Yeah, yeah. Seconds. Yeah, so he could choose to kick two rails as well. Like he has a big angle there, and I like the the speed he hit that with. Leaves a nice distance as well to play it with the speed. Definitely, if he hit it like straight on pretty much on, on on that side on the side of the one ball you did you can have a, like a lot he could make it he could probably end up hitting the two ball uh, yeah so and little strange angle as well on this one ball sanjin might have to just make the one and play another Extension. safe on the two ball yeah also a little chance to make the two ball if he likes to carry it off the seven but it depends on how attacking he really wants to play yeah and if the seven was a little more like on the on the center of the table instead of being that low on 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 the uh on the rail here it would he would probably have shot it yeah. and what else do we do here well he could just play soft and get the two just along the rail behind the five and the seven I think that would work yeah just cut it up there 10 seconds yeah I like that hoped to get a little bit higher with the cube to eliminate this one rail mm -hmm. I don't know if you can actually get on the good side of the pocket here you want you wanted like that pocket to to be like a factor in 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 the safety. Yeah. And I think he can if he plays this with a lot of right and English. Second. I think he can still cut the two and might get lucky to get behind the nine ball. But he hit it fat and. That's yeah, if you could hit it on 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 the on the thin side, that would be really strong. Because you got like two or three balls you can get behind. Yeah. But unfortunately for Michael, 
He left Sanji in the two ball and if he can get on this three ball then besides that it's not really a challenging layout I would say. It's not too bad no. And like after a couple of days on, on the on new tables is you get a little more comfortable and you see a lot more runouts. Yeah, everybody's also adapting a lot more to the tables, I yeah. figured out. Um, yeah, a lot of players are actually pretty happy at the moment with the equipment, so yeah. we're really glad to hear that, of course, because uh, in Vegas, the, uh, the tables were not, well, not at their best, it's maybe, maybe a little bit optimistic, but there was a lot of issues with it, and they changed the whole system. Um, they got a different leveling system in the table. They just told me, they explained it to me. Um, because the slate had a couple problems and now they can really adjust. So for the mechanics, it's way easier to get it right. So to check in the tables every morning and making sure it's still level at every spot of the table. And now nobody is disappointed. So That's really good. I didn't know that actually. I think it's good that they adapt like to to the players um, to the, ba the to the players uh, Opinion. advice. Yeah. Ten seconds. Yeah. So Sanjin, little four shot here needs to stun over. Yeah, you get real good on that one. Yeah. Nice, nice and straight. Yeah. So we can get it just draw it straight back here. Yeah, you can hit that short rail. Just, yeah. And he's starting off pretty good. Not yeah. really any mistakes yet. After the break, a good save. And he's been tying Michael to his chair almost. And it looks like the first game, <laughs> first blood is for Sanjin Pelivanovic from Bosnia. And you can <laughs> see here that he just gives him a little high five, the kid here on the side. Yeah, he, uh, young, young prodigy, up and coming player. Yeah, He's that would be awesome actually <laughs> to see him like like in I don't know ten years, see like a, a, a like a picture with uh, Sanjin and him. <laughs> that would yeah, be fun, right? Well, he would be maybe competing with Sanjin in ten years. You don't know. You yeah, know? that could be fun. <laughs> right? Would be really cool. Just like the pi have you seen the picture with uh, Skyler and uh, Shane? Yeah, there's a bunch of those pictures. Ralph Eckerd, I did commentary last match with him. He yeah. has a picture with him, and uh, Ralph Suke and Oliver Ortman. Mm -hmm. The picture is 30 years old. Oh my god. And they're all here at this tournament. So G yeah, GP Parmentier of course said, "Oh man, we need to get a picture of yeah, of the now, of course, because you can just compare the differences." Yeah, I mean, that's that's just cool. Yeah. So, Sanji in the break here. Last break was <laughs> very successful. He has a good break. Yeah, he did good actually. Big smash and and also how the ball spread is really tough too because it's hand rack. So that means he's yeah, high quality break here. Yeah, he got kicked away a little bit, but ended up like real good on that one ball though. Yeah. The three ball did get a little weird though. Yeah, he's looking for the two on the side. That would be if he can get where he was pointing at, that would be almost perfect. I yeah, mean that, that would be ideal, right? Yeah, and if he has a little angle, he can decide to give the six ball a little bump. He's playing with a little left spin. And then next, maybe the five to the six could be a little thing, but he's looking pretty strong, pretty good start here. Yeah, he seems like he's comfortable and no real nerves going on too. Like he looks 
Solid. Real solid. Oh. Ooh. That is the commentator's um, curse. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> I was just going to say that. I'm surprised. It's, uh, he's also, he's he did look surprised. Yeah. He hung that ball and he was looking like, how how did it hang up there? But he just caught it a little bit too thick and... Yeah. Good he chance. Wanted, he wanted to be good on the four so he could get on, on the perfect side on the uh, on the five ball. Yeah. He was building up to get, yeah, at the right side of the five. That's yeah. the toughest thing in this game for now. So let's see how Michael is getting on that five. So a little straight, but can still choose to go to the short side. Yeah, I think he got like in between where he wanted. Like yeah. If he got straight, it would be real good and a little more would have been a, a lot easier just to yeah, he's checking to see if he can play with top left Thanks going sure. off the short rail it's a difficult shot I don't yeah there's not really one way to play it it's more what you prefer yeah I like to probably stun it over using a short rail but he played top left and needs a cue ball to go a little bit more Ooh, you really have to cut a, cut this one real thin yeah probably play three rails a lot of speed on the cue ball. Tough shot here for Michael. But it's also like a confidence booster if you make this one. Like Then you begin to feel really good. Yeah, and especially with momentum on this side. But yeah, it was it was a tough shot though. Like it's It was not a gimme. Yeah, exactly. And leaving Sanjin with a little angle on the six to work with. He has to hit this one really good to get, get on the middle of the team more table where he's pointing right now extension yeah called the extension just to fire himself up a little bit more on this shot yeah because the difference is pretty big in two zero and one at piece especially in this format and he he ginned it <laughs> yeah he <laughs> jammed that one oh man he hit that so good he's not happy i would be i would be happy with this <laughs> Yeah, so we're playing two sets, races to four, and in case the sets get tied up, get split, then we're having a deciding shootout. Ten seconds. Already seen a couple shootouts, very exciting ones as well. And this could be a match that is possibly, yeah, yeah, it's like possibly I going to a shootout as well. I'd say pretty much every match from now on would be like a possible shootout because it's only races to four. And I like to see the shootout, to be honest. I think it's a lot more exciting than, than seeing somebody like being down like 7-0 and yeah, don't no. have a chance, right? Yeah. yeah but for now sure. you only need like four, four games to, to get in the shootout. Yeah. It's never over in this format. But Sanjin is trying to change that to nothing up for the young Bosnian. And we'll be back in a couple minutes.
And we're back at the Predator Germany Open here in the Atlantic Hotel in Bremen. With Sanjin leading 2 to nothing against Michael Schneider from Switzerland. Sanjin the break. Had two good breaks here. Can he make another great break? A little bit less pop in that. And oh. This is a little turning point. Let's see if there's any difficulties. Yeah, and it goes straight in. I wouldn't expect that, actually. You've been hitting them really good. Yeah, two of them were also really nice cue ball control, and now this one was a little loose. So I think the biggest shot here is... Yeah, I would say the nine ball is a little tricky. Oh no, it's not. It does pass. So if you can get straight on this three ball, the balls are spread pretty nice. So might go one wheel here. Oh, yeah. He just made sure he was straight on this three ball. Yeah. But a little long shot though. Let's see how he's feeling. Sometimes I like to go one rail just to like let my lo uh, like let my stroke out a little yeah. bit when when I'm two down like just to get in you get a nice feeling going on and yeah he's been yeah a little trapped in his chair and then after making two balls putting yourself in this tough long shot position yeah because if he ma if he make that like uh that good position on, on the two to the three, he might also get like a little boost. Yeah. And Sanjin, it's a good position here for the four ball. But if he gets on the four, it's just cruising for him. There's a little angle, I think, if he shoots it in a corner. I wouldn't really go crazy with all the draw I think I would just stun over maybe a diamond or two to yeah up yeah, it looks like he's playing that oh he did play draw and yeah I thought there was a lot more angle too yeah it looked like he had a little bit more angle and yeah then then this was the best option he played a really good speed as well really tough to judge of course looks like he's gonna try and hold a cue ball on this cut shot yeah and he uh, he's executing well he is yeah you get good positions he he seems good right now yeah of course he had a big confidence boost when he won the European Championships l this year yeah, in 10 ball. Yeah, especially yeah, after what happened the year before. Yeah. It was uh, absolutely brutal. Or he missed uh, the he missed match the nine ball, ball. The 9 ball on Hill Hill. Or at, no, at 8 7 up. So he was uh, devastated at that moment. Came back, won the European Championships after. What? Well, the Championships after. And then, yeah, now he's uh, yeah, full with confidence, I would say. Yeah, and it looks like it's gonna be three to nothing. It's not looking well for Michael Schneider. You can see the positive thing is in it that he only needs four, right? And it's when it breaks, so he can still get back in this one. Yeah, exactly. Plus well, if I would be in the chair, I would think like, hey, maybe I get a little chance and turn this set around. If not, I got a second chance in the next set. So yeah. it's definitely not over from here. Not at all, no. <coughs> That's what I like about this format. That even if you like get a little sloppy start, you can still get in. So, first two breaks were really good. 
third break, he scratched. Still breaking from the same spot. And yeah, I mean, of course he's breaking from the same spot. The balls have been flying in everywhere. So. Another monster break. And he gets, does he get the reward? Yes, he does. He does. And look at how the balls are spread too. No real troubles here for Sanjin Pelivanovic. Yeah, has a nice roadmap here. Not much he has to do. Um, especially from the 4 to the 5, that's. Yeah. That part of the pattern is pretty good. There's not a lot, of, a lot to say here. No. Just business. Oh! Was he just trying to hold the cue ball there? I think so because there was a little angle. Just uh, I think he tried to like put a little English on it so it would go easier. So it didn't have to go too far with the cue ball. Yeah, and an unexpected miss after a nice break from Sanjin and he does not want to do this too many times against Michael. No, he can definitely come back. Like we said in the beginning, he he's a grinder. He you want to beat this guy. He's playing a little fast though. Usually it takes a little bit more time, but maybe he's just trying to get in the groove. Just maybe he sees it as oh, I already lost a set, or I'm, you know, I'll just try to get a nice rhythm to get going in the next set. Yeah, I definitely think that's that's what he's thinking right now. Yeah, so choosing the right pocket, this down left pocket, um, just easier to let the ball slide in. Yeah, there's not much more to say. He uh, is stealing this game from Sanjin Pirovanovic, in my he opinion. Is, yeah. 3 to 1 for Sanjin Pirovanovic against Michael Schneider from Switzerland. So how do, how do you like Bremen so far? Have you been into the city yet? I was driving around like yeah, here the other day, like, and I actually think it's a really nice city. It's it looks really old. Um, that's what I like about Europe a lot of times. Like if you just if you just need to to see something, you can really see some old stuff, and it's really impressive. Like what what you could actually build back then. Yeah, I like Bremen. The city is really nice. So, let's see. Michael Schneider to break. Let's see what he can do from here. So, put some power in there. Not really a pop break, but... It worked, making the ball on the side and has shape on the one with natural angle to go to the two as well. Yeah, the two to the four might be like, like the hard shot in this rack. If he can get like good shape from the two to the four, I think he's out. Maybe also seven, eight, but I really think this one is the... The next one is the the key shot. Yeah, there's also not a big area where you can land in for that four ball. So it really depends on how well his speed control is as well. Yeah, he can't hit it too hard though. B 
because then it's just gonna like stop on the uh, on this rail, I think. He hits it too hard with with top. Yeah, so he ha needs a smooth stroke on this. If he hits it hard, then it's going to bend on him. Oh. Was possibly trying to get on the left side of the four, but. Yeah, I think because of all the top spin he put on there, and with that much speed, it cur it curved on himself too. That's why it got so short. Extension. He lost some speed, and I mean, he still has a cut shot. If he runs into the f seven, he has a bunch of positional opportunities to get on the five. Oh. Yeah, Michael Schneider, definitely not at his best for now. Still struggling. Maybe some just early nerves. Table. Maybe it's just a setup, you know. Yeah, so has some more work to do though. Needs a nice angle on the seven ball to cross over probably two rails to the eight ball. Yeah, I would go two rails. I don't like the small area on the down right corner in this view for the eight. So it needs angle and does not want to get hampered by the nine. Might be queuing over the nine here. Looks like he thinks he's okay. Now he's drawing along the long rail. So probably playing this with top left. Shoot the nine in the oh he decided to run into the ten I think it was a little risky it's a little it ended up in the middle like yeah with a little, the, yeah, little, a little angle to to go to, to the right side yeah so I would cut this in the side but he for sure hoped for a little better shot after kissing the ten Yeah, good recovery there from Sanjin. And he takes the first set, 4-1 to one against Michael Schneider. And, yeah, besides the unexpected misses, played a good set. And we'll be back after the break.
And we're back with the second set of this, I think, pretty good match. But for now, it looks like Sanjin is in full control. But that can change. It can change real fast, that's true. And a dry break here from Mr. Snyder. He hit the kill ball good though. Yeah, like it was a pretty square hit. Yeah. Um, the ball to the side got too low though, so he yeah needs more power on the break or a bigger swing, I would say, um, just to yeah make that difference going. Sanjin calling the four ball. Is he playing the carom on this? Yeah. The one ball goes to the uh, to the left pocket, and he might he might have a shot afterwards. Decided to play the one ball thicker. Yeah, I thought he would hit the five ball so it goes like automatically to the to the pocket. So maybe maybe he just thought by himself like hey I don't really like it so much, but from here there's no easy safety, so I just make the ball and play a good safe after. But he could also have gotten that one ball to the to the side pocket. That might be in a he might have ha had that in his thought process. Is he banking this? Yes, he did. And did he get that shape on the two? He did, I think. Oh, maybe uh, not. He looks disappointed. Yeah. Was a good try, though. Yeah, he hit it really it's good. It's real tough if you look at how, yeah, how small the spot is to get on the two. I think he can still miss. Oh, this is. <laughs> Yeah. This is just just the edge, the outer edge. Ten seconds. He can make it, but on the thin side. And I, yeah, I uh, think he has to play with a little, little bit of inside, and I don't think he likes that. Oh, yeah, I do like this, though. Just kick and stick. Yeah. Play a little Behind the draw ball. on this. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, obviously try to get behind the three ball. Um, still not leaving anything easy but I expect Michael to he called a bang I think yeah looks like it doesn't really look like he can bank this ball but he was pretty confident and he played it two, two way and leaving a little edge of the two ball for Sanjin might be able to hit it straight on just park it there, swing the cue ball two rails and on the end rail where might be banking the two ball the other side of the table and get the cue ball with inside back behind the ten and the nine. It's a different approach, or maybe behind the three if we can but it's oh he forgot the time. little what is going communication on? between the referee and the Cue assistant no foul. the referee is saying it's no foul this referee of this match is Vladislav Belkovs from Latvia it's also an EPBF referee done a couple European Championships and some Euro Tours and yeah Michael really really not feeling that well no he seems um, like he can't really get his stroke going yeah, there's no rhythm there's no yeah he, he looks a little bit different today to me I haven't seen him play like this like it's not because he's not playing like He's just don't really feel it. It happens with everybody. I think yeah, I mean, eventually everybody has a off day, but yeah, but like there's still a half or a half of the match left, so so Sanjin playing the soft safety. 
kill all with the six. Covering the long rail. I think I think he did a better job at this kind of shot now than he did before. Yeah. I, you can play this one two rails. Get the cue ball behind the eight actually. It's a lot of insight though. Yeah. You have to hit it really really good. Oh, he decided to go one rail and Oh, oh wow. that's a great shot. Wow. You need a lot of accuracy to do this. <laughs> yeah. You hit that good. See it again. That was a really good shot. <laughs> There's not a lot of room behind that eight ball. And what are you playing here? It's not like he has a bunch of options. He might try to draw it behind the eight. Looks like he's going Nine for seconds. the seven. And then drawing the cue ball back. Safety of mine. Taps on the table, so. He got a little fortunate there. Yeah, no doubt here. Michael jumped out of his chair, grabbing his jump cue, and it's a tough jump. It's not unmissable. And it's such a, th it's really tough to to jump these ones. In. Oh, he got, he got close. And also a funky spot for Sanjin to be in. Like if he. If he makes it, he's always going to run into a ball. So really has to think well about what's going to happen. Ten seconds. I don't really see him missing the five ball here if he makes it. Yeah, it was. It a was really tough shot. Yeah. For sure, I w I was not sure if I was going to attack this. Yes. I think Daniel, uh, uh, Michael was checking if it was a foul or not. I'm not sure what he was asking. Uh, Michael Schneider, his brother also plays, Daniel Schneider. Yeah, he lives in the U.S., right? He lives in the U.S., played also Pro Bayard Series multiple times and uh, also had a good result at the World Nine Ball, I think, 2000. The one during COVID. So, yeah, I guess it runs in the family. <laughs> yeah, they both play really strong. Yeah, and uh, Michael really needs to at least get a game on the board, get going. If he gets out here, that's a really good run out, like, <coughs> I'd say. And he just need to get that snowball going. I feel like the one who wins the second set is pretty much always in the favor of winning the, uh, the shootout. Yeah. I think so too. It's more, more mom momentum going on for yeah. the player. And he takes the first rack of set two. Michael Schneider needs it. He's struggling, but he's wanting to go to a shootout. So Michael to break. It's 
the last couple breaks were not bad, but didn't really manage to get the ball through the side going. Needs more power or at least a bigger swing going on. A lot of action. He made a ball. I think he's going to play the safety here behind the... Probably behind the four. Or he might go all the way down table with the cue ball. Looks like he's going behind the four. Yeah, I like that. It's a good shot. Also has uh, good coverage from that top rail with the two. Whoa. And there's no other kicks. He's grabbing so the, uh, the jump stick here. And, I mean, I'm not saying that's a bad choice because there's not much kicking options left. No, but it's really hard to like jump over like a balls, a ball distance. Ten seconds. Made a good hit. Might get a little lucky. It's not the easiest shot for <laughs> for Michael here. And is he able to cut that? I think so. Or did he get a little edge of that nine ball in front of it? I don't think so. I think he can make it. Oh, oh. shit, he can. Yeah. Extension. Yeah, well, we didn't really see that coming. So he took his jump cue out, and yeah, that was super tough. Cutting that shot is, yeah, I mean, I, I like jump shots, but I don't really jump cut balls like that. He might have been able to kick it two rails instead. Yeah. Yeah, I think there was also more more safety options as well when kicking that shot, so interesting choice from him. He might have been a little tilted because he made a good safety and he doesn't get rewarded for it. Yeah, and this this layout here has some work to do though. With the four going to the five and then Getting on the six, I think that part is the, the toughest of all. Ten seconds. So, playing top right here, going two rails towards the five. Yeah, he needs some good angle on this five ball so he can get on the six. And I like that because if he hits that second rail in Ten front seconds. of the side pocket, I think he's Extension. always gonna, going to end up with a nice angle on the five. Yeah, and if he goes a little too long, it's, it's still going to be like you can just float over to the six. Yeah, but he took his extension, wasn't maybe feeling the shot. It's, it's not, a that, tough it's not it that easy with the top right. No, you oh. you have... Oh, wow. He changed his plan. One, two, three rail. And this is tough because it opens up from that second rail and wants it to stop. And yeah. Yeah. He's got the wrong angle. Yeah, he's probably running playing into one. The six. Oh, he's running into the six. Yeah. I might actually have played this one like into the uh, into the rail on top of the six. Give myself a little longer shot. Yeah, that's a good bump there. Yeah, he did this good one really good. Control. And then another, another steal actually from Michael. Michael played a good safety and did not get rewarded and after 
it's all Sanjin again. Yeah, it's important to, to stay cool after your opponent is a little, unfor uh, a little fortunate on it. That's what's so hard about pool. I think that's what separates like the very, very best to Yeah, and he stands over the cue ball to tie the score one to one. This is unmissable for a player like Sanjin, I would say. And he ties the second set. We'll be back shortly after a small commercial break. And we're back with the Predator Germany Open here in Bremen. Sanjin Pelivanovic from Bosnia to break here in the second set. And the score is one apiece. Let's see. He's been breaking well this match. I expect him to have another monster break. A little less power. I mean, the cue ball was really good though. Good cue ball, but... We need to have some power to make some balls, boys. <laughs> yeah, it was a nice control break. That's what you usually practice, so it's hard to to give in to like just slamming the balls. So I have some work to do here. Yeah, I think especially with that nine ball there on the like it's it's such a small gap between the nine and the ten up there. Yeah, so you really have to get like he's probably gonna go like three rails from the eight. Or would you go straight down there? I don't know. I think I would go three rails from, from the eight to, to the nine. I might go there one rail. It's just because you're cutting the eight so much that you cannot really get that much draw on it to go around the corners. So, nice follow shot. Still a little short though. So, a small tester here. 
a little longer shot and he needs a good angle on the six cannot afford himself to get straight on the six okay he got the angle still a long shot though yeah longer shot and same thing has to make sure he doesn't really get too much angle or straight he hits this one good yeah yeah we're starting to see a little bit more of Michael like we're used to yeah so yeah he's going one rail you want to go one rail from the 8 to the 9 no oh. he looked at he looked at the, the other angle. option and yeah. then but maybe at the at one point he thought no I can still throw it around three rails I would just get I would be scared to barely get behind the 10 10 seconds extension call the extension knows that this is a the key shot in the game definitely yeah oh like I said I would be too scared to get a little piece behind this nine you see that and yeah he had a lot of angle on the eight like if it just takes off it's a it's a cut shot and there's not really that much draw on the cue ball because it's just already off the short rail yeah and yeah I'm jumping here you have to yeah, you need to go for it. Ten seconds. He has no extension left. Oh. Foul. He rushed it as well. When when they called ten seconds, he really just two stroked it and Yeah, Sunjin staying calm. He likes this uh this position from here. Yeah, you can look at Michael's body language too, that it's actually hurting him. Yeah, he knows that Sanchin, he's a, har he's a good player, so this one game is can't cost a lot. Okay, you also know with this caliber players is that you, know, you cannot afford to and not grab a couple chances like this. So Sanjin steals another game here and <coughs> Yeah, I would say it's going to be tough for Michael to win set two from here, even though he's only one game down. Yeah, I mean it was tough it was really tough to get to the nine, like we said in the beginning of the game, but he just hit it a little hard. Referee Vladislav Belkov's wrecking the ball with the Predator Aero Wreck Triangle used for this event. Table has been breaking good today. A lot of runouts. First two days we've seen a lot of breaks from the side and now probably cloth gets worn in a little bit more for the racking and really nice breaks we've seen today it's a monster break again yeah look at that cue ball that's unfortunate but still boat balls low so he had more pop but he hit it a little softer than all the other breaks the five ball was close he, it just yeah it's just such a little margin it's hard like the thing is with the uh when it's hand racked can't really expect anything really so michael pushing out to a jump shot and if i were sanjin i would always give this back just because michael's last jump shot was not 
successful at all. So, and it's a tough jump shot too to get shape. So, but he he likes jumping, so I do get it. Yeah, not sure if I would have jumped that. It was a tough jump actually with the position and everything. It was a tough jump, had to draw back the cue ball and yeah, like I said, considering Michael slash jump shot. I'm yeah, not it might still it might have been in his head if if he gave that one back. Exactly. So Michael trying to play safe here and left the gap. Perfect gap actually. Tough position though. He needs to work with the cue ball and the cue ball is pretty close to the rail as well. Disappointed, Luke. Really fortunate here, though. Yeah, he. Uh, obviously, it's. I think it's a pretty big achievement to miss the ball and don't touch another ball. Yeah, <laughs> there was so many. Look at this. Goes in between all of the balls because if he hits the eight or the nine or the seven, he's always going to. To give Michael something and. Michael. Yeah. He seems really tilted, but you can't really blame him. Like Sanchez, every time he he doesn't he doesn't really leave a shot or something. It can be hard sometimes. Well, Sanchez has been playing well, and then also when he missed a couple shots, it didn't really go yeah Michael's way as well. So it's really tough to play. And but I expected a little bit more grind from him. Yeah, me too. A little bit more fight. Like he kicked so fast and. Like he's so focused on getting in that rhythm. Be yeah. Yeah, sometimes just let it, like, play it slowly until you begin to get it. You can't really force, like, that That flow. You can't, f if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and this uh, is a, yeah, easy layout from here. Which probably draws this off the short rail. If he hits a short rail, he always has an angle on the five. <coughs> Needs to make sure he gets the on the other side of the seven ball, on the right side. Doesn't really want to get an angle towards the ten and the nine. Would make stuff a lot more difficult. Yeah, nice angle on the eight. Probably choosing to go two rails like he's looking at. Top right spin. Always floating in the right direction, the right positional area for that nine ball. Towards the nine. Very nicely executed, and yeah, only needs two balls to go on the hill. And he's taking his opportunities, he really is. Three to one for Sanjin Perivanovic in set two. Only needs one game to seal the deal. And we'll be back after a short break.
And we're back here at the Predator Bremen Open. Sanjin leading 3 to 1 in the second set and yeah, ready to seal the deal in my opinion. Good break here. Two. Really good break. Wow. Good pop and I think he got a shot on the one. I think he did. So this could be over soon. His breaking's been so good, though. He had one where he where he scratched, but like everything else has been like really, really good break from Sanchin's side. Yeah, biggest thing with this layout is just get right right angle on the five ball to go to the six and then I don't really see any difficulties. No. Like <laughs> if you get a little straight on it you can like draw it two rails and get in good shape. Yeah, you might just go one rail from here. But if you got a little more straight, he could, he could play with like two rails, draw it back. Yeah, I like to stun this over. Maybe put a one tip of right spin. Yeah, just me to too. Make sure you don't get close to that side pocket. It's great. Yeah, and this is uh, this is looking good here. Might leave himself an angle on the eight to go three rails forward. Yeah, I think so. To m just to make sure. He goes in the right direction. Has always the right shape on the on the nine ball. Got himself a little straight. Looks like he's yeah, but you can just he can cheat the can pocket for sure. Yeah, you can swing it. Oh, it looks like he's drawing the cue ball. Hmm. Okay, just enough though. So. A little tougher shot, but he can play this for the 10 ball in the side pocket. Yeah, it looks very good. So this is it. Sanjin Pelivanovic with a convincing 2-0 lead, 2-0 uh, win against Michael Schneider from Switzerland. Thank you, Mickey. Thank you all for watching. We'll be back at 9 p.m. local time here in Bremen. So stay tuned. <laughs>